her mouth. Yucky. Mommy. Don't mind me as I dig into my homemade oxtail pho. This popular Vietnamese beef noodle soup is so hearty and delicious. And today, I'm going to show you a simple way to make it in the Instant Pot. I bought a pack of oxtail from Costco recently and I'm going to parboil them in a large pot before using them for my pho. Fill the pot with enough water to cover the beef, then we're going to boil them. I also had some beef bones in the freezer, so I'm placing them in a pot and filling with water for parboiling as well. Both pots are going on my stovetop over high heat. Once the water boils, discard all the gunk, then rinse the oxtail and beef bones until clean, then drain and set aside. The cleaner you wash the oxtail and beef bones, the clearer your soup. Note that I will be using slightly over 2 pounds of oxtail and 2 pounds of beef bones, and these are the weights I measured prior to parboiling them. Now start the saute function of the Instant Pot. While it is heating up, cut two medium or large onions in half and peel and smash a large thumb of ginger about two to three inches long. In addition, you will need sugar, fish sauce, cinnamon stick, star anise, black cardamom pods, fennel seeds, and coriander seeds. Once the Instant Pot is hot, add your onion halves and ginger. Note that I am not using any oil. While they're charring, we're going to toast our spices on the stovetop. To do this, place a dry pan over medium heat. In one layer, you're going to add one cinnamon stick, one tablespoon of coriander seeds, one teaspoon of fennel seeds, one black cardamom pod, and three star anise. Shake or stir the spices to ensure even cooking. Then turn off the fire when you can smell the aroma of the spices. By then, you should be able to flip your onions over and see that they have charred pretty nicely. While the other side is charring, I'm going to place the toasted spices into a tea bag. If you're interested in this item, you can find it in my Amazon store or use the direct link provided in the description box below. I love doing this with spices because it saves me a lot of headache. This way you can avoid having to remove tiny pebbles of fennel and coriander seeds prior to serving. Once your onions are charred, add your oxtail. Optionally, you may sear them until slightly browned, then add eight cups of water, followed by the spice bag, three tablespoons of fish sauce, a small Fuji apple, peeled and cored, and one tablespoon of sugar. Now close the lid, ensuring that the steam valve is in sealing position, then pressure cook on high for 40 minutes. When 40 minutes is up, allow the pressure to naturally release completely. Using a fat skimmer, also linked below and can be found on my Amazon storefront, I'm gonna remove residual scum and any visible fat floating atop the soup. Also remember to remove the spice bag. If you don't plan to serve the oxtail pho immediately or have any leftovers, you may refrigerate the soup after it's been cooled, then remove the coagulated fat the next day before heating it up again. This ensures that you have clear soup that is less fatty. But of course, if fatty is what you prefer, leave it alone. To serve the oxtail pho, boil pho noodles according to package instructions. I like to use fresh ones like these or dried ones found in my local Asian supermarket. You may also want to prepare sriracha, hoisin sauce, fish sauce, and toppings that include bean sprouts, basil leaves, chopped scallions, and lime wedges. If you want, you may also serve the pho with thinly sliced cuts of beef. And just like that, you've made yourself and your loved ones delicious homemade oxtail pho. What's even better guys, is you are in total control of the ingredients used and it's not loaded with MSG like you may find in restaurants. Not to say that it's bad or anything, but I personally prefer monosodium glutamate out of my food. Well, maybe a little is okay. 
My Vietnamese hubby and my part Vietnamese kids all love my pho, including my one-year-old. It's a win-win for all of us because it didn't require much effort from me. I truly hope you'll give my recipe a shot and enjoy it as much as we do. If you did, let me know how it went in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed my video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.